G'day and welcome and in this video we're going to find the derivative of this relation implicitly. You can see here it's not an explicit function because y does not equal a function purely based on x. It's got a y value inside this expression as well. This makes it rather more complicated and in fact trying to separate y out from this to get an explicit function in terms of x would be a nightmare. It would be quite difficult. What are we going to do? We are going to deal with it implicitly. And I might say I, I searched the internet looking for uh, what I consider to be a nice selection of implicit functions to practice on and to recommend to students. And I found this among a collection that was produced by uh, Dwayne Cooper at the University of California, Davis in the United States. And uh, I've never met the gentleman, but I was most impressed with his selection of, uh, I think, about 16 questions, all of which had solutions provided. And I highly recommend that you go to his site. So you might, I'll put the link below, but Dwayne Cooper, you might Google him and see what else he's produced. But I was very impressed with his little selection of questions. This is one of them, I think the third or fourth one or something like that. Without further ado, let's get started. Now we're going to find the derivative of both sides with respect to x. The derivative of y with respect to x is dy dx, or y dash. Now here we have a chain, that is, a function inside another function. So let's deal with the sine first. What's the derivative of sine? It's cosine of whatever's inside times the derivative of what's inside. Now what's the derivative of 3x plus 4y? Well, it's going to be an expression two terms. The derivative of 3x is 3 and the derivative of 4y is 4y dash. If you like, the derivative of 4y is just 4 and then because y is inside the function, the derivative of that using the chain is dy dx which is y dash. So it's 4y dash. Now we have a y dash here, we have a y dash here and we can collect like terms. Now first of all, this expression here is multiplied by both of these. I'm going to separate them, so let's multiply this out. 3 times this I'll write as 3 cos 3x plus 4y. And then I'm going to have plus 4y dash times, sorry I don't need that, times cos 3x plus 4y. Now, the beauty of doing finding derivatives implicitly is that y dash is, is only there as, uh, as a single power. You never get squares or square roots or cubes of them. You simply get a linear equation in y dash. So it's quite easy generally to collect like terms and so forth. So I'm going to bring this term over here and I'll get y dash minus this one for y dash cos 3x plus 4y equals, I do like to try and keep the equal signs lined up. I know we're sort of a little bit cramped on, a, on the whiteboard. And leave this last term here. So all we've done in this step is move this across here. And now we have a common factor of y dash. So we've got y dash times 1 minus 4 cos 3x plus 4y. I might use a bracket. Equals 3 cos 3x plus 4y. And now I divide by this whole expression. And I'm left with the y dash. y dash equals this uh, 
divided by this, 1 minus Now it's not a pretty result, but we've managed to do this in, in what, one, two, three, four, five lines of working. It would be perhaps not just a nightmare, I suspect pretty well impossible to do explicitly. Um, absolutely horrendous. You'd have to do some very artful work with infinite series and things. Don't want to go there. This, this is nice. Now, notice this expression for the derivative has x's and y's in it. And if you substituted a y value, for example, you could find a corresponding x value. If you'd solve to find an x value, would would uh, satisfy the equation and thereby find an xy point on the graph substitute it here and know the gradient of the tangent at that point. So it's doable and this was an example from Dwayne Cooper's website or his web page. I won't go any further, I just wanted you to see how to do this one. I'm going to be producing another couple of videos. Please keep watching. I thank you for watching this one and please like the video. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber and leave your comment if you wish to leave one. Thank you.